What's up guys? Thought I'd make a video about how I came to be where I'm at today. A little bit of my background, where I came from, how I was raised, that kind of thing. Um, so I grew up on a farm outside of a very small town. I graduated with about 23 people, something like that. And I was raised in a pretty strict family. So, you know, in high school, I was a decent kid, made pretty good grades, played sports. But when I graduated high school, I went a little bit crazy. I wanted that freedom. I wanted that just that, that peace, that relaxation and just not having anyone to answer to but yourself. And that unfortunately lasted about three years. So it took me to a pretty dark place. I was hanging around people that I shouldn't have been hanging around with, doing things I shouldn't have been doing. Um, and it was just a bad time. And after that, I spent about two years in this kind of monotonous, boring funk. I would come home from work and I would try to evaluate where I was going in my life. You know, I, I, what is my direction? Where, where am I headed? And I remember one day I went to Staples after work and I bought like five or six of these these notepads and when I got home at the top of each one I wrote you know writing the next one I wrote psychology then I wrote music and photography and I would go on and on and in each notebook I would write the pros and cons of each career or each interest what my you know strengths or weaknesses were trying to find out what I wanted to do with my life and I spent two years in this deep introspective trance and it clearly wasn't working. And one day, my mother and I were having a conversation and she said, Jed, do it. I said, w w what? She said, do it, just do it. And I said, well, what are you talking about? She said, well, just pick something, try something for three months, just try it for three months. If you don't like it, try something else. After three months, if you don't like that, try something else. And I, I said, okay. So I took a job at Hobby Lobby in the frame shop and I built frames for people who come in with artwork or photos and they want frames built. And I did that for a little while and then they sent me to the seasonal department instead of the frames. And it was about Christmas season and I had, the days lasted forever. I remember taking elves off the shelves setting them on the ground in a bowling pin kind of formation, you know? And then I would take this Santa, this stuffy Santa Claus, and I would just bowl these elves in the middle of the aisle. The point is, after about three or four months, I decided at that point, I probably shouldn't continue to work here. So I decided to look for other opportunities, and I filled out about 40 applications online, went to about 20 or 30 different places in town, and uh, the last place I went to was an IT company and I ended up working there for about three or four years. And it was great. I developed a passion for IT and you know, since then I've moved on to bigger and better things and I'm in an IT position now that I love and I enjoy. It gives me free time to pursue my passions, which I really enjoy, which is obviously photography and cinematography. And it's taken me a long time to get to where I'm at today. And the only reason I kind of tell this story is that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my mother telling me to do it, take action, go, just, if there's nothing you're doing or if you're just spinning your wheels or sitting, just do something, anything, take action. Even if you think you don't know what direction you're going, just do something. And that's what's gotten me to where I'm at today. I'm able to provide for my family. I'm able to have a house, I'm able to have a car, a job, and, and pursue my passions, put money into my passions and the things that I'm interested in. And it's nice to be able to do that, but it's also not something that happens overnight. People always say, they always say, oh, just don't give up. And that's great, don't give up, but find your style, find your passion. I've had friends and people come to me and say, you know, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do, you know, I don't like this, I don't like that, you know, what do, what do I do, what do I do? And every time I say the same thing, I say, what do you love to do? What are you doing to move towards that, you know? Have your day-to-day -day job, go for it, you, you love that, but outside of those hours, are you moving towards what you want to do? Your real true passion? You know, go for that. What steps are you taking to get you towards where you want to be? 
you know passion to me is 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 I mean it is a formula you know there are steps that you have to take to get to the position that you want to be at it's no different than finding a job or or um, accomplishing a task it's the same thing and there's steps that you have to take to get there I'm not saying I'm there and I'm successful or I'm not but I am passionate about what I do and I, and I feel confident that eventually I will be where I want to be you know and that's why I continue to make these videos and uh, I know all of us tech people are real gear junkies and we like to have the best equipment and I'm a bit limited on this camera and what I can do and it really frustrates me but earlier today I went back to what my mom said just do it just take action just go and I thought well I've got this camera you know there's no sense in saying well this other camera will do this and this and that way better than what mine can do and I would get such better results yeah it, maybe that's probably true you get better quality that's fine but you know what? At least you have a camera and you can go out and do this stuff. So do it. Don't, don't let it stop you from being creative and being passionate and continuing. Got him. And continuing that passion, you know? Just don't stop. I want people, including myself, to be able to pursue our passions and go through and just every obstacle you know and, and and reach that point because you've got your passions you either go for them or you don't i wanted to say you know what no matter how many struggles i went through no matter how hard it was for me i continued to strive towards what i wanted to do and even if you die before you get to that point at least you have given your entire life towards your passion and to me even if you don't reach your end goal you still have lived by your passions. You know, being happy is a choice, and I choose to be happy. I love you guys, and I can't wait to make the next video. We'll see you then.